with this heat. What's up boys, Dom here, and back to another video. So, basically, in this video, I just want you guys to watch this clip, and then I'll explain everything else. Now, I just want you to pay attention to the person on the fighting's movement. Now, these are the movement techniques and also mine that I'm going to be showing you in this video. Okay, so, just one thing I'm going to tell you guys before you guys watch this video. I would still like you guys to watch it, but... These, um, movement, like, things that... These movement techniques that are mostly, um, well-known and good on controller... Do not try the monkey board mouse. Like, I mean, you could, but, like... It, it's not the same keyboard and mouse it's better if you just jump on people's heads and that's what keyboard and mouse is meant for for movement you just have to make it so they can't hit you by jumping over their head because you have such a higher sensitivity controller however because i play on it and my friend ivy gaming plays on it which is also bella if you guys didn't know that and uh what I'm basically saying is this movement style that she had and this aim style that she had was the one and only reason why she was ever good compared to me. And that's how good this technique that she does is. And I'm not just saying she's bad. I'm saying she's good for that reason. Because she just does, she just has like the best movement and always had the smartest ways for taking out um, opponents. So if you just watch her gameplay, you kind of see like... She's not, um, she's not the mechanically skilled player, but you notice she's just, yeah, she's ADSing every single shot because usually, that's usually what a really bad Fortnite player does, but the thing is, um, I recently kind of understand it that it's actually not a bad thing. Also, you notice she's crouching right now, which, yeah, you even saw the slow editing there, like, she's not mate, she's not the type of person, like, she has her techniques and ways to block people off so they can't go anywhere else. But look, look how much sweatier my brother is, but then he just gets destroyed because of how um, good her her technique is. She's just, she's able to move like so fast, but look very slow. So you're kind of confusing and making players confident that you'll kill, that they'll kill her, but they, I actually don't. Like right there, I just died easily because I missed all of my shots of the hardest to hit her then i got 200 pumped right there it's so easy for yeah it's so easy for me to lose all these fights and just because of and for oh, many people to lose all the lose these fights and that kind of just is why i'm showing these videos this video to you and you know these clips that she made because you can notice her movement and how everything is and basically with that, now after what I was telling you about how she would be crouching, how she would be crouching, moving to the left a lot, and sometimes jumping over to other people where they can't see you, that also brings me to the other thing, which is something that she doesn't do, which was my technique, which is positioning. You notice when I was looking here... I was positioned the right way because from her perspective, you could probably see my whole body, but she was using her exact movement, crouching and walking towards me. Um, if you look, um, I want you to pay attention. Okay, if you look, um, my positioning here, it's kind of, I'm kind of playing it a little bit safe, but at the same time, I'm not. And that's kind of what I want you guys to know. You can't just play it super safe and expect that your opponent's um, not going to um, kill you faster because you're playing a little bit slower and smoother. And basically, you notice I dodged her shot right here, and then I hit her, but then missed so many of my arrow shots because of how good her movement is. 
That's what you guys should be doing a little more. Like, this movement, you don't have to do the ADS shotgun shot. But the crouching and the jumping to other positionings. And this is mostly made for player. This is mo If you naturally just have good aim, like, off the bat, just overall, like, just starting playing the game and you already have good aim, this is mostly made for people that are just started playing the game on controller but have experience on something else before. And they just want better movement so they can win more fights. Because controller, if you have good movement, good mechanics, and good aim, you're going to be very successful and could maybe get into tournaments. And if you're that good, you could probably become pro with if you have all this stuff. And movement and aim on controller especially is the most important mechanic in Fortnite. Which, for me, I didn't know that at first because I was paying too much attention on my creative warrior skills. That's why my builds got a lot worse, but my overall skill and other mechanics have gotten way better and more consistent. So, yeah, that that is it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys. And I also want to add one more thing. You notice that this movement style will make players look like a really bad player. But that's the thing, is that you're confident at first that you're going to beat them, but then they just destroy you. So it forces you not to try. But I'm not tap that type of player anymore. But I'm saying, even with my skill over now of how much I've improved, um, she can still beat me sometimes because she can just put her movement to the fullest. I'm saying use her other different movements like crouching, ADSing her, shotgun shots, and doing all of that at the right time. So, yeah. Now, I will see you guys later. Just and, uh, by the way, guys, if, uh, you guys don't use code Kamali in the item shop, what are you doing with your life? Alright, see you guys.